everybody and welcome to Jurassic World the game. What's that? It's Friday and you're expecting a quality video? <laughs> How dare you? This is a quality video. <laughs> but if you leave 5,000 likes on this video, I will upload another video tonight. Ah, so the power and the choice is up to you, but we have something quite amazing! A new, a first, brand new, best ever, world record dinosaur coming to Jurassic World the game. Uh, now this dinosaur did and does uh, exist in Jurassic World Alive. It's one of the few dinosaurs just like Lithornix. This bugger that is actually coming backwards from Jurassic World Alive. We had a lot of dinosaurs go forwards, but we've actually got some coming backwards now. You'll also notice that I don't have that hybrid yet because I am fusing it. And you'll also notice I have five, 4,000 bucks. That's why you can't have one without the other. So well, I'm just, I'm not wasting any bucks. I'm just doing my own time. We get it when we get it. Okay, guys, that's what we got to do now. And I know that I had a lot of responses in the last video of people saying, Beaver, what, just hack it. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't mind. <laughs> um, and as much as I do want to do that at the same time, ah... If I was to hack, I would just give myself bucks because I just want to speed things up. I, I don't want to cheat any other way. Um, so maybe I'll do that. I'm still thinking about it. But the new dinosaur is it actually in here. Uh, no, it doesn't show it at all. But it's March Madness. And throughout the month of March, I think there is new dinosaurs being released. And the newest one is the Shake the Earth Draco Rex. That's right. We've got the whole progression of... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Pachycephalosaurus, or I don't know what you would call them. Dracorex, Stiggy Moloch, and Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, so top prize is some pretty decent ones. Um, and it has just started. So, because my video on the Archelon, full entire Archelon tournament is so bloody popular, um, I think this, oh, we may as well just like keep going. <laughs> <laughs> do another one. Full entire Draco Rex tournament. Now, it doesn't matter what I put in, because we're starting low. Um, I'm only going to ever get 20. Even if, if I put my lowest dinosaurs, um, chances of winning is, of course, really low. Um, and I'd probably only get like 21, 22. So, 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 you'll notice, actually, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. Um, I want to make a video about Jurassic World Dominion, because you guys know now... Or well, you should know if you don't already. Jurassic World Dominion, the third film in the Jurassic World trilogy, is now being worked on. It's being filmed in Canada, and it includes a, a Jurassic first in any movie, snow. Now, whether or not dinosaurs are actually going to be in the snow uh, is still up in the air. We don't know yet. But uh, I just wanted to... I, I, I kind of want to... I've, I've been... Saving a lot of information uh, as I've been going through Twitter, Instagram, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll make a video. Maybe we'll make like a Jurassic News, but I want to change it because last time we did Jurassic News, it took ages. And the problem with news shows is that uh, you want to get the news out there to people as quickly as you can. Um, doing, oh God, are we okay? Oop, the, 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 the audio went a bit funny there. Okay, never mind. Oh, let's just pretend everything's fine. Um, so the problem is, if I do something that takes like loads of effort and stuff like I did last time, it's going to take ages for that video for the videos to come out, um, and by then there'll be new news. Uh, or I could do low effort and just do voiceovers and maybe some green screen stuff. And I'm thinking about doing that. That's probably the best way of doing it, because um, I've got some speculation on the new movie that I'm um, <laughs> saying you. Hey, if this video gets picked up by YouTube suggestions algorithm, God knows, this will be still in 20 years time. The new Jurassic World- Wait, Dominion, that's not the new one. There's like 20 movies since then, God. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot I want to talk about. I've also been working on some other content, um, bringing back some golden oldies. Um, and I, I think, well, you'll see it. You'll see it eventually. You'll, you'll know what I mean when it comes out. You'll be like, oh, he hasn't done those in ages. <laughs> uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Draco Rex is a, what's it called? A tournament creature? Well, I mean, yeah, this is a tournament, I suppose. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to be really good. If there's ever a tournament creature, do get it. Because chances are it's going to have a hybrid. And if it ever does get a hybrid, it's going to be annoying when you don't have it. Just like Lithornax 
um, has that hybrid with the glacier, which unfortunately is still a carnivore and not a like you know, I was gonna say surface, not a plains or a savanna. Something like that would have been really cool. But no, we have plenty enough carnivores in the game already. What does Lydia say? They say we need more. So I've also received intel about, um, the, as you can see on that, the loading splash screen for Jurassic World the game is snow. That's probably because we have snow for uh, the new movie. Um, which makes me think, and it was something I put in that video, that this snow is going to play a little bit of a bigger role in the game, I think. Oh, sorry, in the, in the movie. Um, but certain characters aren't there, so maybe not. Uh, I'm going to place that, and then I'm just going to place those two. Maybe we'll get something good. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to balance that out. We're still probably only going to get 20. But it seems like the Jurassic World hype is starting to build. As soon as we get, you know, the new movie rolling out, start to be produced, we start to get the snowball effect. It's slow and gradual. Now, it ha I, I'm wondering how big the hype's going to be for this new movie. Because with Jurassic World, it was massive. Uh, Fallen Kingdom was pretty big as well because um, it was the first time that... You know, I mean, Jurassic World was basically a remake of Jurassic Park, just in the modern modern age. Um, you know, dinosaurs aren't enough, we need to make more, new things. Um, and, of course, it was set in modern day. Really? Come on. Um, and this one, uh, well, Jurassic Fallen, Fallen Kingdom was like, okay, we're going to leave the island. <gasps> what we're going to do? That, that's crazy. We've got dinosaurs off the island on the mainland that was only touched on Lost World. Uh, and it kind of was they're not really but they are now now Dominion Dominion has such a task such a task um, it has the potential to possibly be like the best if not the second best because you can't really beat the original uh, Jurassic film of the franchise because cast and lineup are there you've got the original you've got the OG cast You've got the new, you know, new cast. You've got returning cast, like Lowry from Jurassic World, which is interesting. Ah, there we go. It did bounce. And we got six extra cups. Woo, look at us go through. I love that sound effect, that blip. Oh, man, it, it's PlayStation Lost World. I love that. I love that little Easter egg that they put in. I wonder how they got that sound effect. Did they just sample it? Or did they, did Ludi actually have access to the files um, of all, all Jurassic Park games? Because it, it is the same sound effect. It's just so weird that they managed to get that. Uh, where is... Probably on There he is. Do the same again. I think that was pretty darn close. Ooh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I think the best thing to do really is to get as high as you can straight away in this tournament. And then every day, just maintain it. The worst thing you can do is leave it to the last day. And this is only going on for three days. So... Need to kind of get a crack home, guys. See this video? Open the game, do it. Now, Jurassic Park Builder. Yes, I received intel. Sorry, I, I get so distracted, don't I? Ooh, James, shut up and tell us. Um, uh, Jurassic Park Builder, the game that is closing this month, which I will eventually make a video on. I, I do apologize. Um, now, you, apparently you can't download it anymore. If you've already downloaded it, it should appear in the App Store. But if you, uh, if you haven't downloaded it, it's no longer available. And... I haven't opened the app, I haven't opened the game, uh, but apparently if you do, you get 5,000 bucks straight off the bat, which is crazy, 5,000 bucks. Now, it's not like Jurassic World the game, whereas 5,000 bucks is like, eh, it's, you know, it's pretty decent, it's pretty good. You can speed up probably loads of stuff. Um, but in Jurassic Park Builder, um, when they went to Jurassic World, the game, they scaled up the books by like a hundred. So 5,000 books in Jurassic World, the game, this game, is the equivalent of having like 50,000 or 500,000 books. Basically, Ludia is giving players in Jurassic Park Builder the opportunity to do anything they want. And supposedly the time limit for the daily packs is gone, so you can just, or you, they get more. Um... It's basically a free-for-all. Um, and I don't know if they've deliberately done this 
Um, and uh, it sounds all high and mighty me saying this, uh, because of possibly how I'm gonna how I'm going to react in a video to the closure of Jurassic Park Builder, because I'm not too happy with it. And then they can say, well, at least we gave you know ev every player who had the game the chance to just get everything, um, which is a little too late. It's too much too late. <laughs> but I mean. I, I get it. I get it. It's just a shame. It's a shame that I'm never going to be able. You know, with nostalgia, nostalgia and nostalgia games, uh, Natsukashi is it in Japanese? Nats Natsukashi desu ne. Um, I think part of the charm of nostalgia is the fact that you can just, you know, go back to it. I could. Oh god, this could be bad. This could be bad. Uh, 48, 1200. <sighs> If he goes for a three, he might kill me. Oh dear, oh dear, have I lost this one? Oh, please don't, please don't! Damn it! <laughs> oh no, okay, we've lost, we've lost. Oh, okay, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna open that back up, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, what? It didn't, no, close it. Oh, look, I was looking at money chairs, <laughs> diva chairs. That was me, that was Whitney, actually. Um, but... Um, what was I saying? Jurassic Park Builder. Yeah, okay. Well, at least at least now we know that uh, we, we shouldn't do that. That's that's a bad thing. Uh, we'll probably have to step up the teams. So we'll scroll a little bit this way and then get maybe Carnoraptor and then go for these guys. Yes, we'll do that. Also, I've been doing the daily missions in this and collecting like 120 bucks every day, which is pretty decent. Uh, for, the, for the sake of doing two... PvP battles um, for the sake of, you know, and then you, 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 I win those every time. I get books. I mean, I trade 10 books for 90 books, which is worth it, I think. <laughs> I think? Oh, wait, why did I do this? This is awful. Oh, no. If that Nundercosaurus wasn't there, this would be way easier. Oh, dear. Uh, he's only going to go for one now. Oh, this isn't, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, no. This is, oh, Jesus. Just go for one, damn it! I know you're not a real person! And, like, that's the thing. I think with Jurassic Park Builder, what they should do is just allow you to just download the game. And, like, I was meaning before I got distracted, meaning to say, is that part of the fun with nostalgia is that you can revisit these games. You know, if I want to... You know, I still have my old Super Nintendo. If I want to go play a Super Nintendo game, I could boot that up. Or I could, you know, there's plenty of re-releases. Uh, whereas with mobile games... Um, I never thought about that. I never thought that they wouldn't be there. Um, and I assume that is partly, uh, I think that's it, isn't it? I think he didn't have any extra, yeah. I think that's partly because with this game they have servers and it costs them to run the servers and this game is making probably not enough money to justify paying the servers. I would assume... I would assume that this game is still making more money than uh, it's costing to run. But they're just restructuring and being like, yeah, we can't have this. I mean, this game has been going on for, what, maybe 10 years, 12 years or something. It's about time we changed it. And, and the thing is, I haven't even checked what happened to their other games. Because Lydia have so many games under their belt, or had, I should say. Um, like, uh, almost evergreen kind of titles like um flintstones um I'm trying to think of some other ones but you know stuff like that and i'm just wondering um did he go for three out of his five so we can definitely kill him too good he's already got two blocks yes yes there we go that's gonna give us a lot of points actually because uh those dinosaurs were way better than my tajonga sources and on par with carnaraptor 32 that was loads Yes, we're almost in the final league, guys. Complete, entire, well, we need to get to number one. That's what I'm happy with. Remember, when you move up through the leagues, you get better and better chance of, or you get better prizes on the prize wheel and even better prizes on the prize wheel, said prize wheel. Uh, I'm just going to put those guys in and then a Tijongasaurus. Because at this point, I'm not risky. We're pretty high up and here I am still using Tijongasauruses. You see, you can do it no matter what kind of dinosaurs you Oh, it's Draco Rex! It's a Draco Rex at level 20. Whoa, it's huge! What? It's the same size! What? How big is this thing? What? I mean, 
I'm, I'm so used to Jurassic World Alive and it being tiny. And they just scaled it up to be the same size as a Pachycephalosaurus. It's massive. If you didn't know, new paleo paleontolog... Paleontolog... Oh, I can't even say the word. Jeez, James. New discoveries in the field of paleontology. <laughs> there you go. That's how you get around it if you don't know how to say it. Um, have shown that Draco Rex is actually just a young... Uh, Pachycephalosaurus or Stiggy Moloch, or they're very similar, very similar. Uh, and the dinosaurs age like birds, and the way that uh, their skulls and bones change shape a lot. So, uh, Draco Rex has very little dome or crest on its head, whereas a Pachycephalosaurus has a huge one. Uh, and the same goes for Triceratops and Taurosaur. Um, and the way they figured that out was by checking the bone density. Um, and obviously in a mature dinosaur, a mature animal, its bone density will be its thickest it's going to be. Um, oh dear, this didn't go very well. I forgot that Pelicomimus isn't too great. Um, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to switch to Jongosaurus and just go for four reserves. Uh, giving him... I mean, if I went for five, I would have killed him. But, you know, just got to play it safe. I wasn't paying attention. I was telling the story. And they they uh, cracked open a few bones of Taurosaur and Triceratops and found that the Taurosaur was, had a thicker bone density than Triceratops. Um, and, I mean, that led them to conclude that Triceratops is actually a young Taurosaur. And I think technically Taurosaur... I mean, Triceratops... Well, Taurosaur doesn't exist technically anymore. Kind of. Because it's just an older Triceratops... But it does. It's a, it's a weird. It's like, you know, categorizing a puppy as a different species of dog when it's just like, you know, a baby Labrador. Um, oh, look at that. I'm getting I'm getting a phone call. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hang up. My bad. I'm in the middle of a video. I apologize. <laughs> oh dear. Missed call. Yeah, I know. Whoa, we were close. We were close. Ooh, it's so it doesn't matter how close you are. Remember, do you remember the days when we thought we could time the prize wheel? Ah, those were the days, weren't they? They were great. Let's go for that. Ooh, the Diplo Suchus. It's a good one. It's a good one. Also, we got a we got new uh, super DNAs available as well. Ooh, a Tupuxera. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Or at least a, a not maxed form is the one I have. Words, James. You can say a good word. We can speak English. Scushy, just a little bit. The, oh, okay. No, no. I'm. I'm just realised my dad actually who rang me. He's text me now. <laughs> oh, hold on. Could we kill him? Yeah, we could. Sorta. Let's go for it. Yes. Fool. And we pretty much won now. Because it doesn't matter what T Rex does, he can't kill me in two. And we can kill him in, I think, two. Yeah, we can, we can kill him in two. Uh, so I'm just going to go for three. May as well. Yep, he's dead. Wop up! And the Tupuxera. With, ooh, half the attack. It's, it's, all these dinosaurs are relatively equal. Maybe except for Stegoceratops. That was a little bit better. Because it is a hybrid. But it is a super rare, though. Hmm. So two, four, six, eight. He could have done a lot of damage there. And I'm assuming he's gonna he's just gonna draw it out here. Yeah. But no he didn't! Because I can kill him! Yeah, there we go! We'll get to Dominator League in a second, guys. We'll do it, we'll do it. 27, not bad, 186. Ooh, top seven! Top seven, we're getting there. The only problem is once you get up to dominate it, it's just staying there. It's you've just got to do, and you've got to use your best creatures to keep staying there. You might get lucky. I think you can still probably exit the arena. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do. I'll just select carnivores. Carnivores are always good. That one, that one, and a T Rex. I mean, come on, right? That that's a pretty decent team, especially with Concavenator. They're mostly all attack, like 600 attack. Oh, there you go! Nerfed their entire team, except for the first one, uh, to half damage. Ooh, did you also... They've changed the skull of Pachygalosaurus. Um, really not too sure why. Maybe they weren't happy with it, and they wanted to make it look a little bit more evil. He does look really evil now. I think they wanted, like, the best dinosaur in the game, 
um, to have a more evil look to it, I think. Right, so he can't kill me in two, so I may as well block for one. <laughs> you're gonna give it a go, son. Uh, you're gonna try it. We're gonna get a lot. We should get a lot for this. Um, although, uh, I'm gonna say about 27. Yeah, I'm gonna say 27. Um, ooh, should I just go for an attack? One, two, three kills on factor in two, because why not? Yep, there you go. Only need a factor in one, but that 500 attack now gets turned down to 400. So it's, a, you know, it's, it's a lot when you start adding the numbers up. One, two, three. He might have to go for four to kill me. He might have to. Yeah, I might have just survived the three. Ooh, key dokey. Nine, nine, three. Hmm. One, two, three, and then one reserve. Yep. Yeah. That's killed him. Bam. Well, I'm glad we got to see Draco Rex. That was a happy coincidence. Now, are you telling me? Like, this is how you know it, this isn't real. Are you telling me that somebody within... Like, because this tournament from recording has been out for 40 minutes. You're telling me that somebody actually has, within 40 minutes of the thing launching, got four Draco Rexes in the tournament. Are you serious, game? You've made a mistake there. <laughs> I mean, usually Lydia, uh, to sort of pull the wool over your eyes will just not have that creature appear in your tournament roster, like in your PvP battles. They obviously for they obviously don't care anymore, and they're like, ah, frick it, it's in there. <laughs> Make it available. Oh dear, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So there you go, dominated. Let's see if we can get to number one. Indoraptor, followed by Tajongosaurus. That's all we need. It's all we need, really. Uh, Indoraptor's pretty much gonna kill everything. Yes, yes, I'm not surprised. Everything dies in like one hit, and the Ichthyostega can't do nothing. Well, it can, but it can't really. It's like the weakest out of them. One hit! Bam! Taken out! Ooh, 700 attacks still good though. Ooh, if he does one down, like one hit to me, I have 5,999 health. Very interesting. Oh no! Yes, 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 that's right. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for one block, one reserve here. And then on my next turn, I'm just going to switch it into Jongasaurus just to fodder it off. If I was to face a team like this, I would call shenanigans, I bet. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, how does he have a level 20 and using level 1 Tijongasaurus? Ooh. So that was a switch and two attack. I think that was all he had. So one hit kills him. And then we're done. Game over. Concavia looks awesome at level 40. I don't have it level 40, actually. No reason to have it. Maybe I should just hatch some. I should just get all my tournament creatures. Uh, is it tournament or VIP? I think it might be a VIP looking at it. Do you remember when dinosaurs had stars? Do you remember that? Ah, oh, the good old days. Oh, well, we're killing them. He dies in one hit. And he didn't have that much, so... There you go, six! Yum! Victory! <gasps> Look at you! Beautiful! I'm, I'm really glad we got to see that Draco Rex, though. That was crazy big. <gasps> Ten! <gasps> so it's gonna take a probably eight more battles till we get to the top. Now, oh, a mystery I'd rather have the 1,000 DNA, though. Ooh, maybe not. I'll take the 10 bucks. I'll trade that. That's fine. Oh, and the 15 VIP. Very good. Let's keep going. Maybe that was a bit overkill. That was a bit overkill. How about Baryonyx? Then we can't go too much lower here. Um, Ankle of Dockers, we could try. The 3,000 three was good, though. And if all you want to do for the next three days is stay at the top of Dominated League, you just need to do battles like that. Indoraptor, two Tijongasauruses. Good to go. And they, do, they don't even need to be a level 20 Indoraptor. They can be a level 10. It's still really good. Uh, I'm just going to go for one reserve here. They <laughs> basically have the same attack. And you're a hybrid. I can't, I can't remember what Baronyx is. Is Baronyx a VIP? I feel like it's a VIP. I'm sure I spent thousands of bucks hatching it, though. Um, I'm just going to go for three attack, because I can kill it in two. Yep, there you go. Woo! 
That was one of the biggest threats. I think Yudon might be, though. Yudon might be the biggest threat. So, he has three. That's not enough to kill me. He'd probably do, like, 3,500 damage if he went for three. I would assume something like that. 3,000? 3,000 and odd, definitely. Um... But I'm just going to go for an all-out, because I can kill him in two. Oh, we did it again! Bah, bah, Rionix is breaking through the shields. Uteranus, 900 attack, but can die into it. So one, two, three. It's probably going to have to go for four. Um, yeah, just... I think three would have been a little bit too shy. So here we go. Woo! So I think that was all your goes, buddy. So, uh, yeah... Die! Bam! Awesome. So we're on 81. Let's see what we get up to after this. It's 30, though. That's really good. So 80. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Give me Draco Rex. Give me Draco. Come on. Come on. Come on, Draco Rex. Draco Rex. No, that's not it. <laughs> God damn it. It'll never happen. Never happen again. I had to spend three days straight playing this game in order to uh, get the Mosasaurus. And even then, there was a lot of people uh, that showed that you could get it. Um, and then ever since that tournament, I, I've, you very rarely ever saw anybody get the tournament creature. Maybe that's because there was a lot more people playing this game when the, the Aquatics came out, because it was still like a kind of new game and everyone was still excited over it. Whereas now... Um, it, this game, this game's old. It, especially if you think about in terms of, like, games. Not as in, you know, human lifespans, but game lifespans. It's actually quite old. Um, and if it was a console game, this is practically prehistoric. It's almost like a generation, a generation of uh, console old. When you think about it. But that's the thing with app games. They're different. They can evolve. They can change. They can get updated. Or... In Jurassic Park Builder's case, they can get closed. Now, the reason I think Jurassic Park Builder is being closed is there's a few factors. One is because it's an old game. Two, it's, um, it's you know, n nobody's really using it anymore. The player base isn't there. It's co It costs them money is number three. And number four, Jurassic World the game is just an improvement on Jurassic Park Builder. It's still a farm collecting simulator. It has, like, similar battles. You don't have headbutt charge attack, but you have this you have this sort of attack scheme at the bottom here with attack defenses and reserves, making it a little bit more of a complicated game. Um, it would be cool to have special attacks and stuff like that, but then that's what Jurassic World Alive is. So I can see why um, this, not this game, but Jurassic Park Builder is getting closed. Multiple reasons. It's just a bit sad, you know. Oh, oh you, you do a rare, rare, rare rogues have been really good. Because um, the thing you always get double, don't you? You always get two. So there's an Indoraptor. Um, he is a Pterodactylus. And have a... Um, it's a Diplosuchus. Take it. I got it. I can do it. We're going to get to number one, guys. We're going to do it. Ooh, thank God I have that um, Indoraptor there. You can kill him in one hit. However, is it worth it, though? Ooh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it because Mastodonosaurus would come in and kill me. And then, yes, I'd have the type of advantage with Pterodactylus, but Metrophodon... At level 8 against a level 20 Diplosuchus is not a good matchup. Not a good matchup. Um, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, this is good. This is good. I can switch to this. Um, and if we wanted to, we could try and kill him. But he might have a block. Ah, uh, he didn't. Ah, we could have killed him. Damn. Okay, I'll switch out now, though. Which is good. Which is good. Uh, if he kills him... It's alright. I'd rather he didn't kill him, though. I'd rather that didn't happen. Oh, all right then. Sod it all out. All out. Let's go. No. Ooh, no. <laughs> well, I'm going to fodder off Diplosuchus anyway, so that'll do. Because now that I've got rid of their amphibian, my Indoraptor, which is my MVP, will be able to sweep the rest of them. Even though he's going to have possibly eight. I like how concave it has sheep eyes. Why does it have sheep eyes? 
So, uh, and the model is glorious, though. It's really good. I saw somebody comment about Jurassic Park Builder saying that, I don't understand why they're closing it down. Why don't they, why don't they make a remake? A remaster it? <laughs> like, come on, man. Jurassic Builder game is the remaster. It is the re-release. One, two, three, four, five. He's probably going to have to go for six or seven here. That's a lot. Ooh, six. Okay, so he's got a possibility of two block. Um, I kill him in one. I can go for three, which is perfectly fine. And then I've still got four left. Um, what is Metrophodon's attack, though? Metrophodon is 1,300, so he can't kill me in two. So one kills him. Factor in two. Now, worst case scenario, he doesn't go for two and he has six reserve. Uh, so I'm just going to have to go for four block here, just in case he doesn't block, which he didn't. So that's good. Um, because I can kill Metrophodon in one hit. I'd, yeah, I'd be surprised. <laughs> it doesn't even have half. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it does. It does have half my attack as health. So go on then. Just waste it all. Waste it. He could. if Yeah, if it was really clever, what they could have done is have gone for, um, like, four, like, two, two reserves, four block. And then that would have put me in a really uh, tricky situation. Because if I went all out, then he could kill me and have six for his next go. Um, but, I mean, I remember at one point the AI in this game was turned up massively. And it was it was really smart, really clever. Um, it was almost like it knew, it had figured out what moves you could do uh, or what you were doing and then it would just counter it. It was super hard. And then, like, I remember just while this game was going on, it being tweaked, tweaked, tweaked. Because you would notice the difference with the AI. You would, you would notice it instantly if all of a sudden you were, like, it changed. Um, can we go for that? Should we go for that? Can we go for another interruptive? Oh, go for Alogamous. 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 Just throw into Jongasaurus there just to make sure we can get that 32 max. Depends what we're up against, though. Could be super hard stuff. No, actually. Re oh, the amphibians, though. Amphibians might cause a little bit of a problem. But because we got Tijongasaurus in there, he brings our level down massively. And maybe that's why we're facing up against lower levels, but I don't think so. Hey, do you remember that? It used to be. The tournament was whatever you put in, you'd face up against. And then it became, like, a base sort of level. And then it became whatever your team was, like your general team. So even at Hatchery, you were taking on super hard creatures. And then they decided to scrap that and then just return back to this. Uh, and this is just way better. Because it was super hard having every battle, like an uh, infinite battle pack. It was impossible almost. Oh, well, there he's dead. Uh, maybe this isn't going well. <laughs> Probably, I, I wasn't thinking. Probably shouldn't have put Tijongasaurus in here. But I think a, a Logamus can take this on. I think it can. Uh, there you go. Did it. Woohoo. Not looking good for our team, is it? Not less not looking good for our heroes. All right. One, two. Almost kills him. Factor in one extra. One, two. And then one, two, three. So that's good. Even if it goes to four, we're probably not dead. Because I'm pretty sure Eops does not have much attack. Yep, 600. <laughs> I didn't think so. And then Enosaurus has 200 attack? It was a close one. It was a close one. Four. Ooh, okay, okay. You want to play that way? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go for five just in case. All right, here we go. This is a big hit. This is a big hit coming. Hopefully it's a six or something. Come on, six. Get Hit me with a six. You know you want to. Ah, oh, it's his health. It's a little bit of a problem. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Did the most amount of attack for the most, for the less, littlest of damage. Uh, so one, two, three. Kills him. And then one, two, and one reserve. Because I'm pretty sure we've killed Enosaurus in maybe two hits. How much? I think it has 3,000 health, though. Yeah, it's a tank. But just like Eops, it has no attack. And we almost kill it in one. Almost kill it in one. Right. I don't think it can kill me even if it goes for four, you know. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I don't think it can. So I might as well just go all out. Yeah. 
Didn't matter what it did. I think we would have killed it anyway. Just not in a good situation. Now, how many cups do we get for that? 30? Oh, yes. Another 30. Ooh, there we go. We're getting there. We're almost to the top. Almost to the tippity top. top tip, top, tip. Now, come on. Oh, 200. That's fine. I'd rather have a pack, though. Give me a pack, damn it. Um... Because I do have some other things that we can do as well. Um, like the any any creature. But those are super hard. I think I may as well just keep on going with this. So we'll, we'll make this one like the tournament video. So we'll do that. Add one of you. And then add another Indoraptor. Why is that green? Why is that green? Is it because I can speed it up? Right. Worst case scenario... Four ma- oh, sorry, three maxed. Uh, oh god, that's an easy team. Wow. That's a really easy team. <laughs> I need one Indoraptor for this. whoop -hop. Oh, well, there you go. That's good. That's good. Yep. And the evolution of Jurassic World, the game, was that Jurassic World Alive actually had real people interacting with each other. And also a really freaking good battle system. It's like, Ludia, I think they had massive su success with Jurassic Park Builder. Massive success with Jurassic World, the game. If I would speculate, Jurassic World Alive, the, the, um, I don't think it did as well. Because it is an AR game, kind of, like Pokemon Go. Um, and because it's dinosaurs, it was such a departure from Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic World, the game, that... But I feel like as time's going on, it's getting better. It's getting more recognition because the battle system, the darting... It's been it's been years since I've played Pokemon Go, but from what I remember, uh, Jurassic World Alive is much better than Pokemon Go. And there's probably somebody watching who's like, No, it's not! Well, it's fine. It's, it's, you're entitled to your opinion. Don't worry. <laughs> if you don't think it is, I'm not going to argue with you. Um, but, I don't know. The, uh, the graphics are much better. The battling system and mechanics are much better. Um, and the... Oh, whoa, what you... Whoa! We're getting higher up and we're taking on terrible opponents. This is brilliant. Even a Baryonyx there. Go on. Go for it. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot, please. Come on. Do it. Do it. Well, you know what? I asked for it, and I'll take it. And I'll go for three reserves. There you go. So, we've seen we've seen the, the, the birth, or I was never there for the birth of Jurassic Park Builder. I don't know how long it was going for. Um, I could actually look how, how, how long into its lifespan was Jurassic Park Builder when I picked it up. Um, because the aquatics weren't there, the glaciers weren't there, the battling wasn't there. <laughs> it was just like farming. It was collecting and doing missions. That's all it was. Um, and wow, just this, I mean, Jurassic Park Builder set, set the, um, the foundations in place for how every Jurassic franchise game would go from Ludia. So you would have aquatics. You would have you would, you'd have battles, you'd have tournaments, you'd have aquatics, and you'd have glaciers. And Jurassic World, exactly the same. Started out with no aquatics, then aquatics came in, and then tournaments came in, then glaciers came in, um, and then as far as Jurassic World Alive as well, um, it was just land creatures. Then you can't really have tournaments, but you, you do. Tournaments did come into it. And then, uh, uh, weirdly, glaciers have came in before aquatics. Probably because it's a lot easier because they're on land. And they don't have a separate uh, battle system. For the longest time, that's what uh, people speculated was aquatics were going to come before anything else. Oh, look at that Baryonyx. He looks so good. I love him. So good. I do a press the sutures, right? I am just lost. <laughs> good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, might as well just go for a full on hit, eh? We'll take him out. He's almost as big as a Draco Rex, that Baryon is. <laughs> it's so weird because I'm so used to seeing Dra Draco Rex in Jurassic World Alive being tiny. And he's the size of a bloomin' building in this game. Ooh, one less. Uh, two, four, two, five. Oh, we're top nine. Top nine. Almost there. Almost there. We're almost done it, guys. Complete. And I tell you what, the prizes have been god awful. Uh, we'll end with an Indoraptor, shall we? 
tell you what, I'll put uh, Tajongasaurus in first and then an Indoraptor. Just so the Indoraptor can do two hits and kill them and they'll waste all their goes. Ooh, a Lithonix. Ah, ooh, and a Stiggy Moloch. A relative. Oh, this is an easy. This is so easy. Oh, God. I mean, it's probably going to go for two because I might have blocked and one can kill me. So the bot usually just goes for the guaranteed. And in fact, if you're super smart and most of it's luck, you can fool and play the bot like that. If you if you have a dinosaur like Tijongasaurus, like I've just done, meaning that it wasted all of its goes and I saved and now I can just open up, you can do that. It's But in battles, they're a lot tricky to predict um, where you need multiple, like I need another dinosaur to be good, whereas, you know, I've just got two Tijongasauruses. It's a lot harder to get that right. If you just follow what I do, you'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. I actually like this Stiggy Moloch as well. The, the Stiggy Moloch I don't like is the one in Jurassic World Evolution because that has a massive head. It's the same as the one in Fallen Kingdom to give it some credit. But I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like the one in the movie either. You got a big baby head. <laughs> you big baby head. Whereas this one just looks more realistic. Well, as realistic as Stiggy Moloch can be, you know, and the paleontology and all that jazz. But uh, I prefer that one. It's The proportions are more realistic. Got huge horns on the back of its head, though. I can kill it in one! Go for it! 5,000 damage. What was it, like 11? What was that? It was, it was like 100? Woohoo! Ooh, 31! Are we in the top place? Yeah, there you have it. Number one. Oh, we won a Draco Rex pack as well. Fantastic. No! <laughs> but will we? For a number one prize? Of course, food. Of course, of course. Did I expect anything different? I did, but I shouldn't have. And that about wraps it. We actually saw Draco Rex. Um, and we saw its kind of stats at level 22. Times that by two. You've got, like, its uh, stats you're going to get once you unlock it. But um, I can't remember what that was. Maybe I'll put it in the video now. There you go. That's what its stats were kind of with nullification of speed like type matchup anyway but if you enjoy this video leave a like remember if you get over 5,000 likes you get another video in an hour <gasps> oh excitement spoilers i was gonna upload it anyway ah you big fool <laughs> i love you until next time i'll see you later oh bye bye